Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. With Hack 5, I'm Shannon Morris coming to you from CES 2012. And I found something kind of interesting. My little brother was very interested in a company called HZO. Now, what is HZO? HZO is the develop are the developers of Waterblock. Waterblock technology is a thin film nanotechnology that through a gas deposition process is injected into an electronic device, coats it, and then it doesn't matter if water gets inside, doesn't damage the electronics. Wait, wait, so you're saying you don't actually have to get some kind of plastic cover for your phone or anything like that, suck out all the air and then stick it in water, you just, you coat it? Yeah, finally you don't have to sacrifice looks or aesthetics for a big bulky case or cover. Now this is designed for accidents, obviously, but it's as you can see, and I'll show you, it's submergible and still continues to operate because not the outside is mechanically sealed, the inside is coated. Everything inside that matters or is necessary to operate the device is coated or protected. Okay, huh, that sounds actually very cool, I must say. It? Yeah, I do actually. Show me how this works. I'll show you a couple of things. You can see there's a Samsung tablet back here. And we've been using this all day for demonstrations. So I don't know if the viewers will be able to tell, but there's actually water spots in there. This is clear full of water. And yet, as you can see, it continues to operate underwater. Now, it's full of water because Samsung didn't make these to be dunked in water. But in spite of that, it continues to operate. The music you can hear in the background is coming from this little Nano, which also is encoded. Turn it on so you can see it's operating. Got a little music from Wicked there and get it to turn around so you can see it still working that has also been in water in and out all day today wow that is so cool I i'm sorry it's hard for me to get my mind, ra mind wrapped around this because i've never seen anything quite like it now do we know when this is going to be out on the market because i want to see it in stores that's the big question and uh, in order for it to make sense price-wise, economically, so everybody can have access to it, it needs to come through the manufacturer. It makes a lot more sense to coat them in the manufacturing process than after they've already been built and put together. We are talking to many of major producers, manufacturers, and I can just say, watch the news, keep, keep an eye out, because pretty soon you'll be able to get HCO inside your handheld device. That is so cool. Now, one last thing. Do you know how deep this can go or how long it can last or anything like this? Great question, and again, it's not designed to soak underwater for long periods of time, so it's not ready for scuba diving, but we're testing it at at least a meter in depth, so that's pretty deep, about three feet, and for extended periods of time, so if you have an accident, you do drop it, it's finding to be very durable at that depth so far. That'll definitely save me whenever I drop my iPhone into the toilet again. <laughs> Number one cause of damage by women. Number one cause from women, yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> from CES again, my name is Shannon Morris. You can find all of our Revision 3 coverage over at revision3.com slash CES. And we'd like to thank Ford for powering our CES coverage. Thank you. Brake Coach, found in the Ford Focus EV's instrument cluster, allows you to optimize your usage of the car's regenerative brakes. It displays a graphic that shows how much energy is captured each time you stop so that you can make adjustments to maximize your range. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.